My name is Jalissa Suarez and I am a molecular biology and biochemistry student at the University of California, Davis. Here on the west side of campus, you'll find Tupper Hall, which is home to Dr. Nadine Brown's lab, which is on the fourth floor and is where I'm conducting my summer research in. Follow me in to take a look. Dr. Brown's lab studies the mechanisms and pathways by which certain genes involved in eye development affect optic nerve head formation, ocular morphogenesis, and retinal ganglion cell and cone photoreceptor neurogenesis. The room we are currently in is also part of the Brown lab, and this is where the cryostat is and where I've been spending so far most of my summer time. The cryostat allows me to acquire sections of different embryonic ages in order to study the expression of Pax2 in the mouse optic nerve head and optic stock. My experiment consists of characterizing the expression of Pax2 in the optic nerve head and optic stock. Pax2 is a transcription factor which during embryonic development is involved in the formation of the eyes. If you come take a look, you can see a section I acquired of an E13.5 embryo and you can clearly see the optic nerve head and the optic stock. So here is yet another room that's part of the brown lab and this is our microscope room. This particular microscope and computer system allows me to acquire images of the sections that I have acquired using the cryostat. By dissecting embryos, embedding, sectioning, and staining their heads through immunohistochemistry, I am able to acquire these images which show the expression of DAPI, GFP, PAX2, and PAX6 in the first two images and DAPI, GFP, and TUB3 in the last image. This will ultimately allow me to show the effects of PAX2 in the optic nerve head and optic stock. This concludes the end of my lab tour. And with that, I would like to give a special thank you to the Choose Development Coordinators for allowing me this opportunity of conducting summer research and expanding my knowledge. I would also like to thank Dr. Nadine Brown for continuing to inspire me in becoming a woman in science and for allowing me to pursue my academic goals and mentoring me. I would also like to thank Bernadette Bosi, who's my lab mentor and who teaches me everything I need to know about new techniques and also inspires me to become a woman in science. Thank you for watching.